It feel real good. I come sit by you. He fold. He 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 done. He's he's a goner. He's a goner. He has folded. He has completely folded. Do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy. Go by too bad. All right, y'all, we back with another big body banger, you feel me? Listen, today we have something crazy. We have something crazy. This girl set her man up with a massage. Now, this ain't a regular massage. This is the type of massage where it can end with a happy ending. Now, I'm not sure if y'all know what the heck that means, but that basically means that after they get to the massage and after they get to the rubbing on the back and the shoulders and all that stuff, she finna get to rubbing on something else. And that's basically what a happy ending means. So she set her mans up with a massage that has a happy ending and she goes see if she cheats on him. You know what I'm saying? So we finna watch this. I I'm curious. I don't know. I don't know. If he's a black man, y'all know black men don't cheat. If he's a black boy, I don't know. Black boys cheat. But black men, like myself, we don't cheat. But without further ado, is let's just hop right into this, man. Welcome back to another episode on Jack TV. Today we put together and executed yet another loyalty test. Trey wanted to put his girlfriend Jelly to the loyalty test to see if she was truly loyal to him or not. So you guys, here's the thing. Trey and Jelly actually met on a dating show called Matt, and that is how they actually met each other, and that is how they actually got together. You sound like you got trust issues. That's the biggest reason why I'm saying because I got trust issues, and my trust issues get me in trouble because I feel like a lot of people, when they got trust issues, they assume a lot. When you assume a lot, you do shit that you don't mean, or you do shit off the impulse, or you assumption. But as time went on, Trey didn't think it was a good idea to actually jump back into Oh, this is the last episode. I thought this was what was going on right now. We could out there, though. Relationship right away because he has just got cheated on in his previous relationship. And now in his current relationship, Trey is claiming that Jelly is now showing those same signs. Hey. Yeah, what's up? That's the fuck, y'all? Yeah, so what you about to do? Oh, oh shit. shit. What the fuck is you doing, bro? Bro, what is you, you doing? You look like a big ass mustard bottle. Get the fuck out the car, man. Did he just Welcome call back. her a big old mustard bottle? Hold on, that ain't even the video we watched. That was the previous video. I need to watch that, John. Back to another episode on Jack TV. Britt wanted to put her boyfriend Danny to the loyalty test to see if he was truly loyal to her or not. Basically, I put him up to this test because his whole vibe just changed. He started acting different. I called him a couple lies. His phone be ringing nonstop in the middle of the night. He be saying he going to work, but yeah, he come oh. back the next day. So he got a whole list there. Yep. So you guys, for today's test, we had a lot to work with. Thanks to Britt, we knew that Danny's birthday was in two days. So I thought it would be a good idea to use that to our advantage. We knew if we helped Britt come up with a gift to give Danny as an early birthday gift, it wouldn't raise any suspicion. So that's exactly how we engaged our test. We rented out an entire spa facility to see if Britt's boyfriend Danny was truly loyal to her or not. We hired our good friend Nancy to pretend to be the receptionist and work the front desk so she can give him instruction on where to go. And they done rented out a whole ma massage parlor? What the heck type money these people got? friend Fancy to play the decoy. Now what Danny doesn't know, while Fancy is giving him the massage of his life, the whole team and Brit will be right down the hall in the green room set up as our command center, watching the entire thing from a live feed we set up. So, how long y'all been together? Come on, bro. I'm not trying to see all these ads, bro. I don't care about these ads. What type of stupid game is this? About three years. So at what point did he start showing these red flags? It's only been like the last couple months. I probably say about six months. But have you ever just really just caught any caught him doing anything with another female. No, and that's why I didn't want to just jump to conclusion without any receipts or any proof. So that's why I was like, let me just do this. And if he passed, he would probably wouldn't even know nothing about it. But I don't even want to just jump on him and not knowing if that's what it really is. Honestly, if you're at the point of your relationship where you feel like you got to do this thing to your significant other, then dub the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Just dub the relationship. It don't even make sense to keep going. Yes. Okay, so if he do pass, you wouldn't want me to post it. No. So if you don't want to post a pass, if he failed, you would want me to post it? If he failed, I want you to post it because... So why wouldn't you want me to post him passing? You because, just... uh, I mean, it's just going to be like, because I'm going to feel, I'm going to be honest, I'm going to feel stupid because it's like, damn, I really don't. You should feel stupid. Either way. Kind of. I don't freaking, I don't care. So you guys, I'm starting to notice a pattern. I've had three couples who actually passed the loyalty test but did not want to post their video because they did not know how their significant other will react to them not trusting them. Okay. But if he failed, it's like you post all this online, you publicly post to me, you love me, this and that, you could post all that publicly so you could post how you, you know, you fucking up behind doors. Okay. That so ain't sitting right with me because... If I spent all this money renting out a whole massage parlor for us to shoot the video, 
I'm going to post my video and get my monies. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not finna just because y'all, you know what I'm saying, you buddy, buddy, now you want to uh, throw away the whole video. No, F that. F you. F you and your mans. We had our camera set up. Everybody was mic'd up. At this point, we was just waiting on Danny to arrive. So I told her to go ahead and call him to make sure that he was really on his way because I didn't want him to show up early and nobody wasn't ready or he was just a surprise to everyone. Just be smooth. Be natural. Call. Hey, what you doing? I'm on the road right now. I'm going to that spot and shit. Did you let the dog out before you, um, before you left the house? Yeah, I let him out. I just called, really called to remind you about the appointment. You can't be late today because remember they had um, limited spots. Nah, yeah, I got you. Appreciate you for taking care of me too. Really appreciate it. Where you was at though? You weren't even at the crib when I left. Go somewhere else, fuck. Oh, I had to go run to the grocery store to get something. Why are you in my business? She, why is she lying, bro? She can't even lie right, bro. <laughs> I was just wondering where you was. It's usually at the house when I leave, so I'm I'll be there when you get home. Alright, I love you. I love you too. Alright, bye. Bye. Whew. You almost panicked there. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody ready to go? Are we ready? Stancy's ready to go. Roger that. Hey, Danny here. You walking in right now. AT, hey, once you get to the dressing room, you can come back to the command center. Hi, right, ugly nigga. Hey there, welcome in. Hey, how you doing? I'm Danny. I'm here for an appointment. My girlfriend booked for me. Okay, perfect. Alrighty, if you want to follow me this way, we'll go ahead and get you all set up. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jack, this shit about to be crazy as fuck. So now that Danny is in the dressing room changing out of his clothes, everyone is in position to be ready to start the test. All we are waiting on now is for him to be guided to the room where Fancy will be posing at his masseuse and the test will begin. Come on, bro, with these ads, bro. Come on, I don't care about Bruce Wayne. Bruce I don't care about Gotham. Gotham. Y'all think he finna fold right now? You know what I'm saying? Do you think he finna fold? Me personally, I don't think I don't think he go. I don't think he go fold. I think he go be loyal. I think he go be loyal. Hi. Hey, how you doing? I'm good. I'm fancy, and you? I'm Danny. Nice okay, to nice to meet you. I'll be your masseuse. Okay. Um, okay, so have you ever had a massage experience before? No, I never. No. Okay. All right. Good. Well, you can go ahead and take off your robe and put it over there on the other bed for me. All right. Okay, you look nice in that robe, baby. Appreciate it. I love these robes too, bro. Um, my right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Talking about she, he look nice in that robe. <laughs> she doing too much. Nah, she gonna do her job for sure. Okay, and you never had a massage, so yo, you you ain't got a woman because you ain't never had a massage, so she ain't never massaged you. Yeah, I got a woman, but I've never had a professional massage before. So she massages you though. Yeah. Oh, how yeah. often? Mm, I probably had a massage about four or five times. Wait, and how long y'all been together? Three years. And only just a handful of times? Yeah, I did. Oh. Magic, but, uh, oh, she should be doing more than three to four or five times, whatever you say. Oh, she talking crazy about his shorty. Hold on, man. At that point, you just gotta. If he a lawyer, I think he go fold because he already, he already, you know what I'm saying. He ain't, he ain't defending his queen. You know what I'm saying. He should be defending his queen. Talking about now, nah, she massaged me 25, 25 days a week. You know what I'm saying? Like 25 days a week don't make sense. You know what the heck I mean, though. She shady. As fuck. She in selling. She just doing her job, doing the best she can to pull the answers out. Don't take nothing personal that she said. She get mad for real. Uh, yes. I mean, you need to get your woman who can massage you every day like this. Wouldn't you like that? Nah, I definitely would. I'm a busy man. I work a lot. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. So, do she touch on you like this? Or how she touch on you? Uh, it's more like I'm usually just sitting down, you know. Shoulder rubs, basically. Right. Like full body massage. Right. He, he is okay. lying. And does this feel, like, real good to you? You give him massages? Yes. Often? All the time. All the time. That not what he said, and he don't got no reason to lie to her. I don't know. Maybe, maybe he lying. Maybe he, he is lying, or maybe she lying. I don't care who lying. Okay, yes, it's like other things that I can do too. 
Come on, bro, with these ads, I don't care. What are you doing? Dancing around looking stupid. If you're hit me with a, a double girl, whammy, really come like, on, bro. She's leaving you on red, waiting hours to reply or go. I think in your package I saw that you're getting the jacuzzi. Oh, they got a jacuzzi here? Yes. So, I mean, what do you think about me coming join you in the jacuzzi? Oh, uh, yeah, I'm good with it. Oh, okay. Just making sure you ain't got no crazy girlfriend that's gonna <laughs> come up here and act crazy on me. Nah, nah. She know I'm up here. She know I'm getting my massage and everything. I'm pretty sure she knew we had a hot tub, too. Oh, uh, okay. Well, she not gonna know about us spending that together. I hope it's not a situation where he blames you. You know what I mean? I mean, you're right, but it's not really that big of a deal. That we probably gonna try to do. I mean, I, mean, I can. Nothing, but if we do, but if we do, you okay with that? If something else happens, what do you have in mind? I mean, how about we go over there now, and I'll just show you. Yes. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I'm down. Oh, no. He folded, bro. Talk about, yeah, I'm down. Oh, my days, bro. I thought he was a loyal black man, but he is a freaking thirsty thought. Okay. Pretty, pretty sure the jacuzzi will feel better. Okay. Although Danny just agreed to get in the hot tub with our decoy fancy, he has not yet failed this test. He At has. Point, she talking about they finna get frisky and freaky. And he talking about, yeah, I'm good with that. I'm down with that. All he's really done was get a massage. Fancy mentioned joining him in the jacuzzi in a flirty way, but Danny maybe could have interpreted that in a non-flirty way, which is why phase two of this test will take place in the jacuzzi, where Fancy will turn it up a notch and ask Danny to go back to her crib. Let's go. Bro, how many ads this man got, bro? How many ads does this man have? I have a challenge. Bro, how many ads does this guy have? Why my videos don't got that many ads? So, how you feel about him actually about to go get in the jacuzzi? He ain't know he ain't coming for it, so I'm confused. This jacuzzi look fire, though. <laughs> I know, you do too. I told you that already though. So how you liking it so far? How you liking it so far? You like it? What, is it really hot? At the end of the day, he know what he should and should not do. So. Exactly. It feel real good. I come sit by you? He fold. He 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 done. He's he's a goner. He's a goner. He has folded. He has completely folded. You don't mind, huh? Okay. Just chilling. I mean, nobody else coming in here but us. Why? Right. I do. I know. Is she sitting on him? No. Nah. How much time you got to spare after this? Is that an automatic fill for you? Yes. Ten minutes is probably about the time. Oh, okay. So you want to give me like a little massage if I gave you one? You want me to give you a I mean, yeah, just a little bit. You'll be all right. You're supposed to be the one to give me a I know, but you can give me one. Oh, that feels good. Right? That's not what he is for. He's not supposed to be rubbing hugs. <laughs> At this point, he playing around. At this point, the man is playing around. Mm-hmm. This is against our policy, but it'll be okay. Maybe I should start holding you should. I'm gonna go home and have a few drinks after this. You wanna come? You can just go have one little drink. Don't be like that. It's one little drink. It's one little drink. One little drink, okay? It's one little drink. We can do it after this. We'll be okay, okay? Keep massaging me. Don't stop massaging me. I didn't tell you to stop. Listening to this, John. Come on, bro. Come on. He getting hold. He is getting he getting played. He is getting played. He the one that's about to cheat. And he the one that's getting played by the girl that he cheating with. I know that. I know. And you are too. That's why we need to make something happen. You okay with making something happen? I mean we gonna go to my house after this. I don't stay too far. We're gonna have a few drinks and we'll see what happens, okay? Uh-uh, but I didn't tell you to stop massaging me. Keep 
I mean, at any given. She being mad assertive and he going with it. He is getting played. He is getting dominated. He is a beta male, as you people would say. You know what I'm saying? The time that you want to go in, we, we can go in. We, we can stop it. It's up to you, though. Oh, okay, yeah. So I'm going to introduce you to some of the things tonight when we go to my house, okay? Right. Some shit you ain't never seen before. Okay, as long as you're here for a little while night, baby. He already failed it. Like, it's no, it's no coming back from this. He failed it. Okay, so do you want to go? Yeah, come on, let's Britt didn't want this to go on any longer. The main goal was to see if he would agree to go back to Fancy House, in which he did. Comment in the comments if you consider this a failure. He is still massaging this John, bro. That's what got me, bro. He's still massaging her, bro. Look, in Britt's eyes, he completely failed, and now she gets her chance to confront Danny. Another ad? Are you serious, bro? I don't have time for this. I'm trying to see her spaz. Well, he, he ain't set himself up. She set him up, but he failed the setup. You could be set up and not fail it. it it's not hard to not cheat. It's, it's you have, like, control yourself, brother. You know what I'm saying? Up. You knew I was you going You came here for one thing. One thing. You can't do like one thing. I came to get massage. I came to get what? massage. A massage. That's more than a massage. He was in the hot tub. I got my massage and we got in the hot tub. Okay, well, you came here for one thing. Okay, so how to go from the hot the massage to the hot tub? Then you talk about you don't, I don't give you massages and all that. What's up with that? What's up with that? Since when I don't give you massages? Why you got all these fucking cameras pulling up? I was actually trying to give you the benefit of the doubt. Oh, I was that, hoping. That shit, I was dead. Hoping, that shit is dead. Bad my ass. You got no trust. 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 You got no we ain't, we ain't going no so you better go with the, with the with your your hot tub buddy so this shit over dead that shit crazy as hell over a fucking hot tub over a hot tub you came for a massage how you get from off the massage table to a hot tub did i tell you anything about a hot tub I'm how the fuck get, you even get in the I'm hot tub we finna get dressed and we finna dip we, we ain't finna home. go nowhere we, going we ain't home. finna go nowhere you full of shit. Crazy. You full bro this is ridiculous. How many ads does he have? But listen, like for real, you know what I'm saying? At some point, he and he's saying, "Oh, we go go home." It's real bad. How you go cheat on somebody that you live with? First of all, that's the first dub because then you don't got nowhere to live because they finna kick you out, guy or girl. You know what I'm saying? If you a girl and you cheat on your man, he go kick you out. You don't have nowhere to live. If you a dude and you cheat on your girl, she go kick you out. You don't got nowhere to live. You know what I'm saying? That's the first stupidness because then it's just gonna be super awkward. Like talking about, yeah, I just want to go home. And y'all pull up to the same house. Like, that's just weird. You know what I'm saying? And second of all, why is you cheating? Grow up. I'm finna and get I my actually shit. thought you was gonna pass? I'm finna get my shit. Whatever. You forgot his he really full of shit. He full of shit, but I, I should have been new. I should have been new. The signs was there. I actually gave him the benefit of the doubt. But he fucked it up for himself. All I needed was the proof. It been there. He full of shit, but it's over. It's dead. He ain't got nothing. He ain't got to worry about nothing. I hope when he go home, he know he can get his shit and get the fuck out of my house. That's what we can do. Happy birthday. I should have been new that. Happy birthday. What type of accent she got? It's kind of, it's really funny, especially the fact that she mad right now. It's hilarious. I, I'm telling you from the way he act, the the midnight calls, the text messages, the vibe, the vibe be off. I should have been through that. I just was trying to hope I wasn't overthinking it and trying to like have insecure issues and stuff. But he really just blew it for himself. Like he fucked up for that. Like I really, I honestly thought he was gonna pass. All right. So as long as we got your answers, um, that's 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 all that matters. Do, do you mind if I use the footage? No, I really don't. I told you from the beginning. If he, if he failed, that's his ass. I don't care about none of that. You can post all that online. You can publicly love me. 
let let your followers know this. Let your fan base know whatever you try to persuade to the public. Show them that you really you ain't shit. I kind of feel like he could have passed if you wouldn't have did all that. But she mad at her? Oh come on now, be realistic. Be realistic. Be realistic. You can't be mad at her. She she got paid to do this. She is a paid actor. Be mad at your man. He's a stupid thought. The stupid cheating thought. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, I was just gonna say, like, I mean, he's clearly easily influenced. Like, it don't take much to. And, and you're right. You know, like, and, and you're right. Well, you're right. I'm not. Know me, so he just was ready to just leave me after this. Like, I was able to tell you, let's go to the jacuzzi, do us. Like, he knew that you paid for this. You set this up. So you could have came here any time, like, surprise him, pick him up, bring him something to eat or anything. So, yeah, child, get rid of him, girl. Yeah, because just as. She said, she really want him. She said, I, I see, I see behind the, the blinds. She said, get rid of him so that he could be a free agent for real. She want him. And when I say like, she did all this and then she, she, she really want him. This is not, this is not a false alarm. She wants the blue shirt girl to break up with her mans so that she can have him to herself. Anyways, man, y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments down below. Did y'all think that he would cheat? I thought in the beginning he wouldn't. And then like. When he was being too friendly about the girl, like talking crazy about his girl, I just automatically knew that he was going to cheat. Because like if you're not loyal to her as far as defending your girl, you know what I'm saying? Then it's like you're not going to be loyal to her when some girl comes half naked in the hot tub with you rubbing all your, your testicles and all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's the end of the video. If y'all enjoyed it, smash the like button. Let me know, would y'all have folded? If y'all girlfriend set y'all up with something like this, would y'all have folded? Let me know in the comments down below, but that's really about it, man. Before you dip out, I highly suggest y'all watch this video right here. I went on Omegle, and I was just, Omegle's racist, so I was just being black on Omega, and it was just, it was just crazy. Like, it was a bunch of racism in the bunch. It was hilarious, if I'm being realistic, so I highly suggest y'all watch this video right here. But that's about it. I'm going to see y'all out.